If you're watching this video, chances are you're not too happy with your HVAC performance lately. Well, there are plenty of ways to remedy whatever issue you're running into. While some take a little elbow grease, many are simple changes to even habits that can be changed. So stick around as we break down how to make your HVAC system more efficient. Here at Monkey Ranch, we've serviced many HVAC systems over the years in Los Angeles County. One thing we can confidently tell you is that taking good care of your system will make it more efficient and boost its longevity. And in this video, we'll teach you what increasing your HVAC efficiency really means and several best practices you can do on your own to make sure you get the absolute most out of your HVAC system. Hey, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing as we're always adding new content on all things plumbing, heating, and air. Now, let's jump in. Okay, so you want to boost your system's efficiency, but you're not too sure what that means. Luckily, it's cut and dry in terms of benefits. Increasing the efficiency of your HVAC means lowering bills, optimizing performance, and ensuring longer lifespan. You can achieve each of these benefits in various ways and none of them are mutually exclusive, meaning it's best to implement all of the following into your routine. Ways to increase HVAC efficiency on your own. Some solutions are easier than others, but we'll provide you with a comprehensive list of strategies to keep your HVAC running smoothly so you won't have to worry about surprise energy bills and other speed bumps along the way. Now let's dive in. Starting with number one, adjusting your thermostat. While this is by far the easiest steps towards a healthier HVAC system, it's also one of the most important. Overworking your system can lead to more wear and tear than is necessary. To ensure you don't unnecessarily put your HVAC system through the ringer, be sure to adjust your thermostat regularly. On hot days, bump it down a few degrees and turn it up a few on colder days. A few degrees may not seem like much, but it will make a dent in how hard your system has to work day in, day out, effectively extending its life little by little. Number two, check, clean, and replace filters. This one is a three for one package deal. Checking, cleaning, and changing your air filter are absolute necessities. These practices are essential in maintaining the effectiveness of your HVAC. A clogged filter can increase energy costs and make your system work harder than is necessary. Cleaning your air filter will also boost efficiency by keeping the filter clean of clogs. You can do this at home by the help of your owner's manual and a little spare time. Finally, you should replace your air filter once every three months or so. Again, this will depend on your environmental factors such as pets, smoking, and dust. Number three, close blinds and curtains on hot days. Here's another simple one that is beneficial over time. Keeping blinds and curtains closed on warm days while the air conditioning is on prevents the system from working more than it has to. Remember, air conditioning does not cool the air. It removes heat from the air and recycles it into your home. This means you want to limit the amount of heat entering your home. Doing so will reduce the strain on your air conditioner. Number four, keep doors and windows closed. It may sound obvious, but this one is one of the easiest and most impactful ways to increase your efficiency of your HVAC system. Simply closing windows and doors prevents needless wasted energy and strain on your system. Adding this to your best practices will save on energy bills and promote a longer life for you and your system. Of course, you have to enter and exit your home, but avoiding doors left open or windows being open in other rooms will greatly help your cause. Think of it like leaving the refrigerator door open. We wouldn't want all of that heat to spoil the milk. Keep vents clear. Keeping vents clear in your home prevents blockages that allow the air to flow freely. When there's an obstruction, your HVAC system has to work harder and thus impacting its performance. Blockages can include pet, bird, dust, and other unwanted debris that gather up and lessen your system's efficiency. Checking and cleaning vents regularly is an easy way to consistently prevent these issues. Number six, check for leaks. Ensuring that your ventilation system is free from leaks will also improve your HVAC efficiency. Leaks, as you might guess, let out cold or hot air your HVAC is working to produce, which is an easy way to tank your system's efficiency. Large leaks will be easy to spot on your own, but smaller leaks will likely require a trained eye of a professional with the right tools. While it can sometimes be a hassle to get a technician out to your home, it is the best way to check for unseen leaks. Clean condenser unit. Most of what we discussed so far has been issues and solutions within the home, but now we're headed outside for a moment. Your condenser unit might be out of sight and therefore out of mind, which is why it's important to check on it every so often. Cleaning your condenser unit and the surrounding area prevents debris, dirt, and dust from building up. Buildup can cake up the unit, which reduces its ability to cool your home effectively. 
Number eight, be aware of other appliances. Depending on where your thermostat is located, you may have a little say on this matter. However, keeping your thermostat away from appliances that produce heat is an effective way to ensuring your system works properly. Having appliances that generate heat next to your thermostat can lead to false temperatures being detected by your thermostat. You might not have the greatest control over this, but anything you can do to ensure your thermostat has room to breathe will help maintain your system's efficiency. Number nine, adopt a zoning system. One of the more involved alternatives to boosting your system's efficiency is to install a zoning system. This type of HVAC system helps address temperatures in individual rooms. For instance, you can install two thermostats in your home that operate independently of one another to manage two-story homes. Zoning systems can also be comprised of two separate HVAC systems, which is the most expensive solution on the list. It's also possible to install manual or automatic dampers in your existing system to achieve zoning. Or you can install a ductless heat pump to control each room independently. 10. Regular Maintenance Lastly, booking a technician to come out to your home and perform a tune-up will ensure your system is working as efficiently as possible. These types of service calls include cleaning coils, straightening fins, checking refrigerant levels, tightening electrical connections, testing the thermostat, checking temperature differential, checking fan motor, swapping the air filter, lubricating moving parts, inspecting safety controls, measure ampage and wattage, we recommend you have your system tuned up once a year. If you live in areas that experience the seasons, you'll want to get your system tuned up before summer and winter. We're not just telling you to run out and call a technician this second to book a maintenance service, but practicing regular maintenance is vital to extend the life of your system and keep it running in top form. Now, we've given you a lot to do, but a lot of these practices will help extend the life expectancy of your system and improve its efficiency. If you'd like to learn more, check out our other HPC content on our Learning Center. If you found any of the information in this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe as we're always adding new content on all things plumbing, heating, and air.